Hi everyone, once again welcome to this training of learning assembly of climate clock in display and in the last module we have seen what LED display we are going to use P10. In this module we are going to see how to control the data that is going to be displayed on the LED screen. Well, we need some kind of a LED controller and the LED controller that we are going to use is called HDWF1 controller. Well, this LED control basically it's a kind of heart of the entire scheme where whatever data is there in this controller exactly same will be appearing on the LED screen. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. Now there can be a data that can be fed with a USB or Wi-Fi. Our controller that we are going to use has a Wi-Fi enabled which means in order to feed data into this controller you can use Wi-Fi network. What is Wi-Fi? It's a scheme by which two electronic devices can be connected with each other. So HDWF1 is the controller that we are going to use in our climate clock. It is a Wi-Fi enabled. What I would show is this is how the main input output parameters or the port of this controller is. Well, we need to supply the power to this controller. So that's a power supply. There are 16 pin connectors, you know, something like this, because, you know, I showed you in uh, LED uh, screen display, there are 16 pins, right? So data, there is a 16 pin standard. So that same output has to be there from the controller and it is a Wi-Fi enabled. There is a USB port also here, but at the same time, there is also a battery because even if there is no power supply or power goes off to your climate clock, it will remember what was fed in earlier so that whenever it restarts, it restarts with a new time which should be there. So the battery is also there inside. So it's a very tiny controller there. Are, of course, there's a lot of complex ICs which are there. It's a SMT based and a lot of controller and everything is there. From the front side, it looks like this on your screen. There, as I said, there are all these important ports. What we are going to do in this climate clock assembly is only two things because we are going to use Wi-Fi feature. So whatever data we want to display, we are going to feed through our laptop into this controller and then this controller will drive this data into the LED screen and it will display. So we are going to use this 16 pin that you see here and we are just going to give the power supply to this controller. So it's very simple and uh, you don't have to really worry about uh, looking at this complexity of this and uh, what it is. This is a standard controller by the way available in the market. So HDW F1 is a very standard controller. As I said in the last, if you learn this how to assemble climate clock, how to feed data into this controller, not only that you can make climate clock, you can make any other display device and you can do various projects in your college, in your school, in your business and do this training. So we just use this as a simple HDWF1 controller for controlling the display of information on our LED screen, in this case, a climate clock. So that's it. Uh, what I'll do is next module, we are going to get accustomed ourselves with the power supply because our LED and this display, the controller both requires power supply. So what kind of power supply we need to use, we'll see in the next module. Till then, thank you very much. Stay tuned.